Did you know that consuming too much of your beloved protein could potentially shorten your lifespan? Yes, you heard it right. Now don't drop that chicken breast just yet. Grab a seat or a squat if you're mid-workout, and let's delve into this protein paradox. You see, protein is like that friend who always has your back. It's there to build and repair tissues, make enzymes, hormones, and other body chemicals. It's a crucial building block for bones, muscles, cartilage, skin, and blood. But ever heard of too much of a good thing? Well, protein is no exception. Imagine throwing a massive party and inviting everyone you know. Great fun, right? But what happens when the party gets out of control? The house gets trashed, and you're left with a massive cleanup. Your kidneys are like that house and protein, the partygoers. Consuming excessive protein results in a waste product overload, leaving your kidneys working over time. Then there's the potential for low-grade inflammation. It's like that lingering guest who refuses to leave long after the party's over. This persistent inflammation is linked with health issues like heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. And let's not forget about our hormonal friends, insulin and IGF-1. They're like the bouncers at the party, keeping things under control, but throw too much protein into the mix and they could lose their cool, disrupting the balance and possibly accelerating aging processes. But wait, there's more. Some studies have drawn a line connecting high red meat and processed meat consumption, common sources of protein, with an increased risk of certain cancers. However, before you banish protein from your plate, remember that it's not all doom and gloom. Protein also plays the hero, essential for muscle health, metabolism, and even aiding in weight management. So before you gulp down your next protein shake, you might want to stick around to hear the rest of this. Ever thought about how much protein you consume daily? Now I'm not saying protein is a villain, but like any good superhero story, it does have a dark side. Let's delve into the shadowy corners of the protein world. Think of your kidneys as the hard-working cleaners in the grand hotel of your body. When you consume excessive protein, these cleaners have to work overtime to scrub out waste products like ammonia and uric acid. Overburden them consistently, and you're looking at the possibility of chronic kidney disease. It's like leaving a mess in your hotel room every day and expecting the cleaners not to quit. Next, we've got inflammation, the body's equivalent of a grumpy old man. Some studies suggest high-protein diets might trigger low-grade inflammation, a constant state of grumpiness in your body that's linked to health issues like heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. So, by overdoing it on the you could be inviting a permanent grumpy old man into your life, and nobody wants that. Now, let's talk about hormones. Protein influences hormones like insulin and IGF-1, which play a role in aging and cell growth. Too much protein might disrupt their balance, turning your body's finely tuned orchestra into a cacophonous mess. It's like inviting a rock band to perform at the opera. Lastly, there's the association with certain cancers. Some research suggests a link between high red meat and processed meat intake, common sources of protein, and an increased risk of certain cancers like colorectal cancer. It's akin to finding out your favorite movie star is actually a notorious villain in real life. A real plot twist, right? In the end, it's all about balance. The key is to not villainize protein, it's important our health after all, but to be mindful of how much we're consuming and where it's coming from. So, the next time you're reaching for that extra steak, moderation is key. And with that, let's delve into the brighter side of protein in our next scene. Did you know about the potential risks of high-protein diets? But let's not paint protein as the bad guy here, it's more like a misunderstood superhero. You see, there's a reason protein is often hailed as the champion of nutrients. It's not just about big muscles and six-pack abs. Protein is essential for our overall health and well-being, including our metabolism, muscle health, and even weight management. Let's start with the obvious, muscle health. Protein is like the building block for our muscles. It's crucial for building and maintaining muscle mass, which in turn affects our metabolism, bone health, and overall physical function. This is especially important for older adults as adequate protein intake can help prevent muscle loss and sarcopenia. So, if you're dreaming of being fit and fabulous in your golden years, protein is your ally, not your enemy. Now, let's talk about weight management. Ever noticed how a protein-rich meal can keep you feeling full for longer? That's because protein increases satiety, potentially leading to lower calorie intake. So if you're trying to keep those unwanted pounds at bay, protein can be your secret weapon. But that's not all. Studies suggest that moderate protein intake might even protect us against certain chronic diseases like osteoporosis and type 2 diabetes. So, while too much of anything is bad, a moderate amount of protein could potentially be life-saving. But remember, 
not all protein sources are created equal. While red meat and processed meats are common sources of protein, they've also been linked to certain cancers. So it's important to focus on quality protein sources like legumes, nuts, seeds, fish, poultry, and eggs. So is protein the villain of our story? Not quite. Like anything in life, it's all about balance. Yes, excessive protein intake can pose risks, but so can insufficient protein intake. The key is to find your protein equilibrium based on your individual factors like age, health status, activity level, and dietary patterns. So, if you're a fitness freak, don't yet. Your protein shake isn't necessarily your arch nemesis. What's your favorite source of protein? Finding the right balance is like walking a tightrope. It's tricky, but not impossible. Now, isn't that the truth? Especially when it comes to our protein intake. The optimal protein intake for longevity is not one size fits all. It varies based on individual factors such as age, health status, activity level, and dietary patterns. So, how do we navigate this protein tightrope without falling off? It starts with focusing on quality protein sources. We're talking about plant-based proteins like legumes, nuts, and seeds. These guys are not just protein powerhouses, but they also come packed with fiber and other nutrients. For the carnivores out there, lean animal protein like fish, poultry, and eggs are your best friends. But hey, let's put a hold on the red meat and processed meats. They've got a bit of a reputation and not the good kind. They've been linked to certain cancers, so moderation is key. Next, we have to personalize our protein intake. This isn't just about how much protein we eat, but when and how we consume it. This is where a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian comes in handy. They can help determine your individual protein needs based on your specific health and lifestyle factors. Finally, maintaining a balanced diet is crucial. We've all heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? Well, it's true. Ensuring an adequate intake of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats alongside protein supports overall health and longevity. So, the secret to the protein equilibrium is not about going to extremes, it's about finding your protein sweet spot. This is the point where you're getting enough protein to support your health and fitness goals, but not so much that it's causing potential harm. Remember, it's not about eliminating protein, but about finding your protein sweet spot. So answer this, how do you balance your protein intake? Now, with all this talk about protein, you might be wondering, so how much protein is too much? Well, let's break it down. For starters, we've seen how overloading on protein can be like throwing a non-stop party for your kidneys. Sure, they're hard workers, but everyone needs a break. So if you're guzzling protein shakes like they're going out of style, remember your kidneys might not thank you for the overtime. On the flip side, protein is like the personal trainer for your muscles. It's there to pump them up, keep them strong, and ensure your metabolism is running like a well-oiled machine. Without it, things can start to get a little, let's say, flabby. We've also discovered that too much protein might be stirring up some unwanted drama in your body. We're talking inflammation and hormonal imbalances, which are like the mean girls of your internal high school. They're not the kind of crowd you want to hang out with for long periods. But hey, protein isn't all bad news. It can also your secret weapon when it comes to weight management. It's like that friend who tells you you're full when you're reaching for that extra slice of pizza. Listen to that friend. So what's the verdict? It's all about balance, folks. Think of protein as that friend who's great fun in moderation, but a little overwhelming in large doses. The key is to aim for quality over quantity. Go for the good stuff. Lean meats, plant-based proteins, and remember, variety is the spice of life. And while we're on the subject, don't forget to check in with a healthcare professional or dietitian to figure out your individual protein needs. Because let's face it, we're all unique snowflakes when it comes to our health and nutrition. So, is too much protein bad for longevity? Well, like most things in life, it's all about balance. Now I want to hear from you. What's your take on this protein paradox? But before we wrap this up, I have a question for you. What's your take on the protein paradox? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now we've heard what science has to say about protein, looked at the pros and cons, and even given you a bit of advice on how to strike that crucial balance. But your experiences, thoughts, and insights are just as important. So let's turn the tables. What's your protein story? Have you noticed any changes in your health or fitness levels after adjusting your protein intake? Perhaps you've discovered a protein-rich food that you can't get enough of, or maybe you've decided to cut back on protein. Whatever your protein journey looks like, we want to hear about it. So, go ahead, get typing and share your power protein perspective with us in the comments below. We're all here to learn from each other, after all. 
And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and fitness insights. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. So until next time, stay balanced, stay healthy, and stay protein smart.